Now, over a week after the midterm elections, the Republicans have managed to take control of the House right after Mike Garcia won California's 27th congressional district. It gave the GOP one more seat in the House, and according to U.S. media projections, the Republicans are now in control of 218 seats. That's the exact majority needed to head the House. Meanwhile, the Democrats have secured a control of 209 seats. Minority leader Kevin McCarthy is likely to become the House Speaker. Republicans have already nominated him for the post. He will take the reins from Democrat Nancy Pelosi. Issues like economy, abortion, democracy, immigration have topped this year's agenda. Americans are known to vote on partisan lines, but experts say the trends have shifted in some states this year. The people voted on candidates' policies rather than follow the party base. This is being seen as the reason behind the failure of the so-called red wave. The Republicans were able to turn at least five Democratic seats and this is what gave them a thin majority in the House. Democrats were also able to flip a, new, a few districts here, but they suffered overall losses. This is a less than ideal election performance. The split could lead to many policy deadlocks here. Now that the Republicans control the lower chamber, it will allow them to halt President Joe Biden's legislative agenda. But you see, the bills need to pass in both the House and Senate, and the Democrats still control the upper chamber. Moreover, the bill also needs an approval by the President to turn it into a law. Any bill here. So with this outcome, Washington is heading towards a gridlock. Joe Biden has congratulated the Republicans for their win. But he has already urged for cooperation between the two parties, something that looks unlikely on most Safe issues. And glorious, I will probably have to do it again. For more on this now, we're being joined by our correspondent Susan Tehrani from New York. Susan, thank you for joining us. Susan, Republicans take control of the House of Representatives. Democrats, however, I mentioned, as I mentioned, still control the upper chamber. What can you tell us of the practical implications of this? Right. Well, so now it puts President Biden's domestic agenda on the line. It really shatters any hope for any major legislation to get passed, considering the fact that now we have a divided government, which is a good thing for democracy on the one hand. But on the other hand, it's going to be very difficult for, as I mentioned, anything major to get passed, possibly. And on the other hand, uh, we do know that the Democrats will likely, and the White House in particular, be subject to at least a handful of investigations. That's, so, that's something that the Republicans have promised on. What kind of investigation, that's uh, yet to be seen. One thing that we're probably going to see very early on is an investigation into the border crisis, the southern border crisis in the United States, and how uh, the Department of Homeland Security, Biden's Homeland Security, has been handling that. And ultimately, you know, the fate of Nancy Pelosi, that's unknown as well. But as you mentioned, very likely Kevin McCarthy will be Speaker of the House with a thin margin of a majority. He does have his work cut out for him. Right, absolutely. In fact, I was just going to come to that. Um, minority leader Kevin McCarthy is likely to become the House Speaker. So what does that mean for some of the policies that hang in the balance here? Yeah, so we are still, by the way, waiting for a handful of uh, results to come in as well. So Republicans will likely pick up uh, a few more seats. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Kevin McCarthy did win the first round uh, among the Republicans. And, you know, he is possibly going to become a Speaker of the House. He did face some opposition. Uh, ultimately, if he is going to become a uh, speaker he has to gain a lot of votes within his own republican party and there is some controversy and infighting right now um, on whether or not you know they want to accept him as a speaker or not more likely than not they probably will but just this discussion itself really shows where the republican party stands and, and how much Kevin McCarthy would have to work hard to get everyone on the same page, uh, first of all because of a ra razor thin uh, majority that they have, and second of all because, you know, there are people that perhaps might not really uh, favor him. Uh, so yeah, he, he does have his, his work cut out for him. Right, Susan, thank you so much for bringing us all the latest on this. We will, of course, continue to track this very closely.
Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.